Now, of course, I don't have a flashlight to show you this, but maybe I can uh, put it in a, a different point of view. When the crank gallery was widened, it got very close to a few of the holes that hold the the, uh, the screws or bolts that hold the um, crank cases together. So what I did was this. I'll see if you can if you can see them. Right. Now I I need to take. I probably should have taken this off, but I didn't. I can't right now. So I'm, I'll be very careful. See if I can show it to you. If you look real carefully. Let's see where it is. If you look real carefully right down here, that right there is the end of one of my long bolts that I put through the case. That's one right there. There is another one, which is right. Let's see. It's hard to, it's hard to do this with a there is another one. Damn it. Anyway, it's right there. Alright. Now this what this has on it, it has two nuts, a regular nut and a locking nut. And then also that's been JB welded to keep it airtight because it has to be airtight. Now there's two right there that go all the way through. Two Right here and right here. Now if you look over here, I don't know if you can see it. Let me see. If you look right underneath this drive face, right in here, wish I had a flashlight. Right where this is pointing, right here. Right here. There's another one that's stuck through the crankcase. So in order for me to take the crank pieces apart, which I'm not going to do if I don't have to with a motor this big, I basically, these uh, bolts in the interior right here, they're not screwed into any meat in the block. They are just they just go through the block like this and they are double nutted on on this other side and they're also airtight. Now I thought, well will that work? Oh gotta go. There's my ride. That's a joke. Anyway, that seems to, seems to work really well for this for this engine. I would recommend to anybody if you want to do a stroker engine, you can do the 50 millimeter crankshaft installation rather easily because you don't get so close to the parameters of the case really really pushing the limits with the 52.5 crankshaft there is just a shitload of problems that you run into but me I wanted to try it once and I've seen a lot of guys on the internet who will get one of these crankshafts and they they start hacking into the aluminum and and praying for the best with, with this kind of horsepower and power that these little engines put out, you can't pray for the best. The best thing to do would be to have a machine shop. But say if you're, you know, some racer in Laos or Thailand or um, Japan or some of these places, you don't have access to a machine shop. So you just take a little Dremel tool and do it yourself. And I've done all of my work. Got this nice bike. Thanks, Randy. Thanks, Jeff. Bridges. I did all of my work and with this little Dremel right here. 
I took the cases apart. Of course, I have videos on it. But I used this little Dremel and was very careful and carved out what I need to carve out. I haven't had a problem yet. That isn't to say that I might have one in the future, but I would not go um, this large ever again because there's just way too many problems where one problem causes another problem, where one problem changes another problem, and those two problems cause a third problem that comes back and changes the first problem. And then you've got to pray it all works. So my next video is going to be on, and this video is running over, on uh, me fine-tuning my uh, um, read intake system. So I hope um, these three videos have helped some of my friends out there in the world, outside of um, Hawaii, where they know everything just some the the problems that I ran into because to tell you honestly when if I'm doing a review or or something on a car or a bike or a boat or a video game okay I don't want to hear everything good about it I want to hear the guy that's complaining because when they're complaining they're telling you not all the great things they're telling you all the problems that they came in, involved with and that you know you may become involved with and I know I'm talking way too much I'm tired and I should go to bed and I'm getting old and life sucks but I do have my deal there is a God and this has helped create a lot of life light in my world alright Thank you, my friends.